Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi app and today I want to show you how to uh, keep your item into the, the scheduling item on eBay so that you can post your item over time and not all at once. Uh, with the new eBay algorithm, a lot of people are suggesting uh, right now that you try to post uh, items over time, not all at once, not all separately, uh, but over time so that you all you kind of have a role of item listing that comes in and out of eBay all the time. So it's a little bit challenging because when we want to list, um, you know, quite frankly, when I list three or four items, I usually list them and then they go live, point. But then they get all listed at the same time. So I'm going to show you a little uh, trick today with eBay um, to to go around that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, some of my items. I clicked on eBay and I'm going to go and um, let's say, let's just take this item and I'm going to relist it. So I have this item, I prepare this item. You could be writing your old description, you know, edit it, do whatever needs to be done with it. Um, and once you're um, ready, let's see, let me go to the edit listing so that we can uh, actually create one. So all of my items are done, my description is done here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule this. So today we're, uh, we're Thursday, October 25th. I'm going to go November 15th. There, it's quite far. Uh, eBay tells me that it's going to start, uh, it's going to, um, I'm trying to find a nice word, but it's basically going to take 10 cents to use this feature. But really, it only takes the 10 cents when it schedules the item. So as of right now, even though it tells me that it's going to cost me 30 cents, it only will cost 30 cents at time of listing. So, but right now it's scheduled for November 15th. So I'm just going to submit the listing and it's not really going live. Uh, right now it's being scheduled. So if I look uh, at my item and I'm uh, let's see, I'm going to go down here, for example, pick one of my items, one of my other item, this one, and I'm going to make a copy and do um, um, sell a similar item. And same thing, I come down here. I write my description. Obviously, you would have to, you know, create your own listing. I'm I'm using some of my listing just to make this a little bit faster. You get you pick up what you want. This one is a fixed price, and I'm going to schedule it. Same thing for November 15. And it tells me that it's going to cost me 10 cents more because I'm using the scheduling. But again, it's not really charging me till the item goes live. And you're all going to say, well, OK, but if it, you know, charges you. But I'm going to show you, you don't have to be charged for it. Let's take a third one, this one, uh, do a cell similar. And go down. And again, you would have to write this listing yourself. And I'm going to schedule it, same thing, November 15. So now I worked today, and I've created those three items or 10 item or whatever you you created but they're not listed now um, I want to list those three item one a day because I know that I want to spread my listings so if I go to my eBay now and let's see and I go down to scheduled I will see my three items scheduled well what I can do is rather than let it schedule, I could simply revise. Well, first off, I can go here, and that's another little trick for you, to see what it would look like, to see if my item would look good on eBay just the way it is. And it would look good, so I'm pretty happy. So now, 
I'm going to revise it because it's still in schedule mode. And I'm simply going to go down there. Where is the scheduling? Right here. And I'll change it to start immediately. And I'm going to click continue. And you click continue again, submit, and then it gets listed. And you're not being charged the additional 10 cents. I'm not going to click submit because I actually don't want to submit this one. I'm just using it for the video. But if I go back to the uh, schedule item, let's see, let's go back here. You can see that, for example, you know, I could select today, I'm going to be um, listing those two. So I'm going to reschedule those two. And, um, and I could, you know, space them to use the scheduling 30 minutes apart. But really, instead of doing that, what I want to do is just click one at a time and simply edit it. And I'm going to change again by changing this now to start immediately, then it will list automatically. So with this little trick, what it lets you do is write some of your items, have them being basically sitting in this schedule bucket. Of course, you don't want to forget them. But let's say, you know, I don't want to list this one anymore then I can simply come here and delete it. And I wasn't charged with anything because the scheduling did not take place. You get charged when the scheduling took place. And if you come here and you revise your item to be just list now, then you're not being charged with the scheduling. However, you use this scheduling feature to have your item kind of like be in a waiting bucket for you to, to use and to schedule over time. So every single day now, all I have to do is within two minutes, I come here, change it to start immediately, and boom, I list it. And, you know, if, if Monday, for example, I have 10 listings or hundreds of listings that I want to do, I can start making my listing and then just simply over time come here, you know, once at noon, once at five, or whenever I'm in front of my computer, come here and list one. And then those items goes live. I didn't get charged. But because they're waiting in the bucket, I have them made. It's kind of like a save your item, if you will. So I hope this helps some of you. Uh, feel free to post any question you may have and subscribe to our channel. And I uh, would be happy to help you with any question. Thanks.